was just like, I ain't really got time to be doing these videos or whatever. But if it's something that I really want, I really have to put my best foot forward. <laughs> y'all welcome back to another vlog it's your girl trina aka voluptuous kc tv um y'all it's been a long time coming i have been going back and forth about this youtube thing because i was just like i ain't really got time to be doing these videos or whatever but if it's something that i really want i really have to put my best foot forward so why not start during vlogmas so y'all um, this Vlogmas, I'm going to dedicate three days a week, Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays, all the way up until Christmas Day, uh, which is a Saturday, to vlog. Um, so that'll give me some time throughout the week to vlog and then edit and then have it ready to post on this particular day that it's supposed to be posted on. So yeah, before I get too far into this vlog, I want you to stop, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you can get updates on any time that I post a video, be it Vlogmas or any other time. And also give this video a thumbs up y'all. So y'all, it's been about 18 months since I went to Tijuana, Mexico um, to have gastric sleeve surgery. Um, my friend Jessica, she went with me and I'm forever grateful uh, for her. Um, since then, I have lost about 150 pounds, maybe a little bit more. My weight fluctuates between 191 and like 194, 195. It did exceed 195 um, during Thanksgiving. Um, but once I got home and got back to my regular regimen, it came off, three pounds came off within a day, literally. Like I came home Saturday morning, Sunday morning I weighed myself and I was down three pounds. So. It wasn't really a big deal. I expected it. Um, did I trip? Uh, just a little bit. But was it like a big, big trip? No, not really. So, um, yeah. What else would I want to tell y'all? So, this vlog was y'all. I plan on um, talking about different topics um, of things that I have experienced or things that I'm going to experience later in my uh, VSG journey. Things that I have experienced, I'm going to talk about dating after a major weight loss. Um, I'm also going to talk about plastics because I was the girl who was like, I ain't doing it. I don't want to do it, whatever, whatever. Scratch that. I've lost the entire person. I'm going to have plastic surgery. Am I going to go overseas? Am I going to stay here in the States? Who knows? I will tell y'all all about it. I've been working. I eat, sleep, breathe plastic surgery. I like that's it. At first it was let me eat, sleep, breathe VSG. Let me see how this person is doing. Let me see what happened in their weight loss journey. I'm happy for you. I'm happy for myself. Now it's eat, sleep, breathe. Let me see somebody who's had an extreme weight loss experience and let me see if they had plastics and see who they went to. And let me see if I like the outcome after they've healed. So we're going to talk about that. I'm going to do a couple of recipes with y'all, um, a couple of get ready with me's, meal preps, y'all. If y'all know me, y'all know I meal prep on Sundays. Like, that's it. I'm meal prepping. I'm weighing it out and all of that. Like, I'm not playing about my meal prep. Like, you can go downstairs in my refrigerator now. I have my salad. I have my breakfast and I have my, um, my chili. I mean, chili this week or whatever. So... I have those three meals and of course I'm having a profit. I might not eat all those meals, but they're there. So I won't have to deviate off. And sometimes I do deviate off. I'm human, but I'm not deviating off too bad. Um, so yeah, just a little bit more information about me for those of you all that are new. I've been on every diet you can think of. I've done keto, I've done Atkins, I've done um, I haven't just done the Weight Watchers program, but I followed some of the regimens. Y'all, none of it worked for me. Uh, what really worked for me was going to a therapist and going to Mexico. That's it. Like, there's nothing else I can tell you. I saw a therapist and I had planned it out to go to Mexico, 
to get this surgery was i scared out of my mind like y'all i really think i had like a mini anxiety attack the day that i was leaving like i was dizzy i was vomiting and i'm not sure what caused it um it might have been the food that i ate the night before because i did have a last meal but i went anyway and it has been the best decision i've made all of my life the only thing i regret is not doing it sooner um, people ask me, do I have like any type of medical issues? The only issue that I've had since I had the VSG surgery, um, is acid reflux. Um, from what I was reading, it comes because they took the part of your stomach out that kills the acid reflux basically, and you no longer have that. So some people get the acid reflux, some people don't. Um, some people might have to go back and have a revision right now. I'm not considering a revision because mine is controlled by medicine and y'all control yours how you want to i'm gonna control mine by what the doctor give me because it worked and i ain't had no problems so yeah um that's the only thing that i've had an issue with um my cycles have been the same well not really the same they're they're frequent they were always consistent um but they're a little bit more manageable now whatever like the cramps aren't just that bad so that has been the same um, what do I do now? I still meal prep like I told y'all before. I still weigh out my food like I told y'all before. Um, and I also work out. When I first started working out, I was working out by myself. I was just walking. I wasn't doing any weightlifting or anything like that. And what I realized was I was getting lean, but I was not bulking up, which caused me to look very flabby. Um, my friend Rudy, she told me, she was like, oh, my girl gonna get you right if you go. She gonna get you right that's what she said and i was like all right i'm gonna try her out so the month i was gonna try her out her classes were booked like 5 a.m was the class that i needed to attend because i like to go ahead and go and get it over with it was booked so i ended up uh booking with her in april and i have been working out with z since april and since april with z i have lost like 40 something pounds or whatever um so i dedicate that to diet and exercise and let me tell you guys, she be working me out, okay? Like I'm making this video now and I gotta get up at 14 tomorrow to go and work out with her. And I'm like the problem child, okay? But I go ahead and get it done. So yeah, I really thank Rudy for introducing me to Z because it's definitely been a life changing thing for me. I used to be the girl who don't do not want to lift weights, who just wants to do a lot of cardio. Well, now, since I've been speaking to coordinators and stuff like that, they're recommending that I may need to put on some more pounds um, because I am kind of small. My BMI is kind of low and they want me to kind of stay in the same weight range um, for like the next six months. So cool. No issues. He's telling me what to do. I just got to stop being a problem child and do it. So yeah, um, y'all, I'm excited about Vlogmas. I'm excited to drop some new content for you all. Um, I got a couple of little videos up my sleeve that might have y'all like, what, what, what? Like, eh. yeah, so I'm excited. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, give me a thumbs up, and leave some comments, y'all. Let me know what y'all been up to. So y'all, I'm getting ready to end this vlog, edit this vlog, and go to bed. I hope to see y'all soon, and happy Vlogmas.